We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers look for their seventh straight victory next. Pablo Lopez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out at me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, That'll and he hurt. still gets people out. It'll be fun to watch this guy Eddie. work in this one today. Yay. Digging in, Eddie James. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. This guy's had a super season so far, and we're well into the baseball season, so this isn't a fluke. He's been. This one gets through, and that could bring in a run. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Well, Dero, you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket, run scored in ribbies, run scored in ribbies. And this guy's the best in the business right now. Will. Runner goes for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. At the plate, Eddie James. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. First pitch of the at bat pulled toward right center field. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag bag, from on second. The bag, on the back. Standing in, J.J. Blade. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The right field. J.J. James what is camped day. under this one. Hit in the air out to left field. And he's got it for out number two. So digging in now, Eddie James. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate, and it stinks the Diamondbacks to a 4-2 to two lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Ready for another chance? Now Cody Hosey, third, third, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. Cody. 0 for 2 at this point. Hosey. And he popped him up. Lewis has a play and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order still down by a count of four to two. So striding in John Torres as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run.
It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number two for him on the year. As they will take the lead here, it's now a 5-4 ball game. Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, although in the middle innings, could be the deciding factor. And we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Eddie James. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire lately. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Benson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And indeed, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Now batting. So striding in, Keston Hiura, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Going, Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. On, Swing and a miss. Strike down, three. The throw. And he will be nailed. It. Into the box now. now. Eddie James. He singled his last Eddie. time up. Yeah. Hey, your turn. Drive him in. Punch up for us. From the belt, the pitch. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, as they open up a four-run lead. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind in the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Arizona capitalized on a huge ninth inning on the way to the win. Alex Young earns the victory out of the bullpen his fifth. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors, they left eight men on base. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Pablo Lopez is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, when you dive into the numbers with this guy, he's a pretty good strikeout pitcher. Just under nine strikeouts per nine innings pitched. So I would expect him to punch out quite a few guys in this one here today.
Stepping in, Eddie James. First shot for him hurt. here as he enters play, currently leading the Eddie. senior circuit in batting. Guy does a lot of different things in the ball field. Not only has this guy been a hit machine all year, but he also leads the league and runs scored right now. So you have to give credit to the guys behind him who are driving him in as he's been getting on all season long. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And they've got the runner trapped in a hot box between second and third now. And he'll scramble back to the bag and be there safely. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't that happened so far out here. Right That's a home run number. and a double against him now, yeah. and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments okay, up, quickly you're up, you're up. if he's going to turn this around. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Bottom of the inning now, and next to hit is the catcher, Cabert Ruiz. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. James is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Ready now, Austin Dean. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. The one two pulled high in the air out to left field. James will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat Eddie James he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Well, nothing earth-shattering about this one. He just didn't finish the play and watch it into his glove. And now they've got the leadoff runner board and no outs. Runners off for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 2-1 home. Runner goes for third. Popped him up. Posey is under it. No problem. One away. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Stepping in, Keston Hiura. Now batting, the second baseman. Keston. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Nope. Pitch That's taken for fly, ball four. Fly. The throw. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Stepping up now, now Evan White. The and their base. runners at the corners Evan. now. White. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Posey is under it. Two gone. Coming to the plate now, Francisco Alvarez. Now Pitch up there. Let's the go, catcher. Francisco Alvarez. This is line to left. Hey, boy, in nice there. Play. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Great hit right there. Great hit. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball, Dero, right there, because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you can tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of hit. Now at the plate, Eddie oh, James. He reached base on an error and later came around to score Eddie. last time up. Oh, uh, working ahead. First pitch on its way. Hit in the air to center field. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. Diamondbacks lead this one three to nothing. 
So coming to the plate, Brandon now Wagner. Battle. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Brandon. No runs, Wagner. just one hit, one error in the ball game for the Dodgers to this point. That's lifted the other way out to left. James will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three go the Dodgers. Still down, three nothing. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Hosey. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Hosey. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They trail it here three to nothing. Now at the plate, Eddie now James, Let runner in scoring go, position Eddie. with Sugan. Come on, big guy. See you try this. Here comes the first pitch. Lined hard toward right center. Run it hard, run it hard. And this scoring, is going to find scoring, the alley scoring. as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And the run is in to score from second. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. Well, he was almost out of the inning. Then the last two batters showed him that you can't lose focus on the mound, even if you get two quick outs. Back-to-back -back doubles shows you just how quickly things can get away from you. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Will Benson. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch popped up. Amaya is there and the side is retired. A run on a couple of hits here for Arizona. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Dodgers nothing. Trying to pick things up where he left it. off. Eddie left James is coming Eddie. off a month in which he earned hey. National League Player of the Month recognition. First offering on its way. Hit sharply toward the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. 4 0 the score this afternoon. Arizona jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Dario Agrizal earns win number seven on the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 16 men on base. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's time for Dodger Baseball. Next. Walker Bueller, a Kentucky-born right-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. 
one of the things he's going to have to do a much better job keep traffic off the bases keep the walks down try to limit the amount of hits he's had a rough go of that so far this that year hurt. let's see if he can turn it around in this one Eddie into the box yeah. Eddie James he comes in today leading the National League in hitting this year one of the best hitters in baseball and he does it with some damage too. lots of extra base hits he's in the top five in the, the league the in slugging percentage as well on a good round number for him there as that's now 250 hits on the season as he creeps ever closer to that single season record. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Will Benson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Will Benson. Oh one pitch on its way. He's running. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Oh, and he has some trouble slide, with it. Slide, slide, slide. The throw into second. The tag, and he yeah. is out at second. One left for the Diamondbacks. The Dodgers coming up. Next up for Los Angeles, John Torres. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Standing in, Eddie James. He reached on a single in his first try. From the stretch. This is pulled into right. Lede is there, and he has it for the out. absolutely jump all over that fastball and it might have been a home run if he had it any elevation under it but it was basically right at the outfielder so here's the Dodgers pitcher Walker Bueller as he'll get his first opportunity in this one Bueller and he popped him up. Lewis over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now at the plate, Austin Dean. Number zero. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And that ends the inning. One hits all they get. We played four full. D backs out in front. One to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Eddie James. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Eddie James. Hey, you can do it, kid. No one better up there. Let's go. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And Arizona moves out in front now, two to nothing. I was the manager I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy I mean he's hit three home runs against them in this series what more do they need to see four five she's enough is enough Digging in and looking for more, Eddie James will swing it from the left side right here. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. This is pulled into right. Make the turn. And go that will hop go over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. When you play in this park where the fences are shorter, 
this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. So here's the cleanup now hitter, that. Will Benson, trying to add some Will. padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. All right, one time, right here. He hit right here. Here we go. And the runner's breaking for third. Now he'll step off. And he is out, retreating to third as they slap the tag on him. Looked to me like he was trying to read the pitcher's timing on that one, but he got it all wrong, obviously. Good job by the man on the mound to step off calmly and deal with the situation. Sometimes you see guys panic in those types of situations. Making his way to the plate, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game. And it gives the Diamondbacks a 3-1 to one lead. No doubt an impressive home run, so we'll employ show track for a more in-depth look. 112 miles an hour was the exit velocity off the bat, so it's no wonder why it ended up having the impressive distance that it did. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Three to one the final score this afternoon. The D-backs took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Casey Mize earns his eighth victory of the season. Blake Walston earns the save out of the bullpen his 37th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game.